Hi, I'm Diane Southard, and this is your DNA News. A member of the Your DNA Guide team just passed along this fantastic article about an anthropologist named Carla Hanley. Carla, several years ago, did some research using DNA samples from different tribes in Kenya, and they requested that she return and report. She come back and tell them exactly what she had found. This is something that doesn't happen that often in research. In fact, when I was working for the Sorensen Molecular Genealogy Foundation when I was in college, and we were collecting samples for the very first genetic genealogy database, people would ask us all the time, will you tell me what you find? I wanna know how this works. And we always said, nope, <laughs> that's not part of the deal, right? And, but there's obviously this curiosity when you are a research subject wanting to know exactly what your data showed. And so there seems to be this uh, turnabout in the ethics of using human samples for research. And she's leading this effort. Um, this, this anthropologist is leading the effort. And I just found it so fascinating, number one, that this is becoming a more prevalent way for researchers to behave where they do provide results to those that they are studying, which I think is fantastic. But even more than that, I loved that she went to these people, this Kenyan tribe, this tribal leader who does not read and was able to explain really complicated, amazing DNA subjects using pictures and beads. And guys, that is just right up my alley, isn't it? That is exactly how I love to teach in a way that anyone can understand. And I love that she did it and that it had an impact on these people. And the biggest impact it had was that she was able to show the similarities between these different tribes and explain to them, hey, look, you guys are so the same. And that changes lives, that perspective changes people. And I love that she was able to do that. And that's certainly a part of one of my passions and my mission is to show people that DNA can open our eyes to who we truly are and help us better understand our relationships to other people. Namely, that we are all part of one big family and treating each other as such could honestly change the world. So I love the work, Carla, that you're doing. And I love that us as members of, of a DNA community, that we can follow suit. How many people have you DNA tested, relatives or friends, have you returned and let them know what you found from their DNA data? I think this is something we should all implement in our own research as well. So hopefully you'll go read that article about Carla and be inspired as I have been. And this is your DNA News.